Hello everybody, Sean Adams here with Disinfect Water. Today is part two of our series on consumer confidence reports or water quality reports. And I just want to go over the anatomy of a water quality report. And for that I'm going to use the city of Wairika because it's an easy one to show. Um, usually you'll find out the city and what year it is. And at the top it's usually a welcome or a hello from the person in charge. Um, and then they tell you about where their water comes from. And this is pretty much consistent through all consumer confidence or water quality reports that you're going to see. Um, it's going to tell you where it's come from. Some people are getting the water from wells. Some people are getting it from surface thing, um, surface water, meaning lakes, rivers, things like that. Um, so they'll tell you where it comes from. They'll tell you what they're doing to treat your water so you actually know what's going on with it. Uh, they're doing chlorination and filtration. Uh, and then they also talk a little bit about the fact that what they do to make sure that it's free from harmful chemicals or bacteria. Um, and for example, here in 2016, they took 156 different samples in order to make sure that the water was safe. Uh, they'll talk about what some of the con contaminants that could be present in source water. Um, and source water is where that water comes from. So that could be that well or those surface area, surface waters. And they talk about some of the stuff that exists out there. And there's a lot of things that could be in it. These are pretty consistent. Microbial uh, contaminants, inorganic contaminants, pesticides and herbicides, organics, organic chemical contaminants, uh, even depending on where you're at, radioactive contaminants. And then they also talk about the EPA and water, uh, state water resources boards. Um, and these are kind of control what the standards are within water, what they should and shouldn't have. Don't freak out if you see these things like microbial contaminants or pesticides. It's pretty much consistently true for any kind of water that this does exist. They are going to be in there. Um, in the source and that's why people do that's why the water treatment plants are so important because they are making sure they remove that information for you and then after all this information and sometimes there'll be contact information sometimes there'll be a much longer welcome from the person in charge in the city all those kind of things but after that we get into the, the the tables and this is where they actually give you the data and in tomorrow's video I'm gonna go a little more in depth about the video and what some of these things mean what an MCL is range of detection level of detection those kind of things just to give you an idea of what it is. I'm gonna go through this in a lot more detail but this just shows you a lot of the things that they're gonna be reporting on in order to get you a clear understanding of where water is, what that means. I'll explain what turbidity and all these kind of things mean. And then they also give you usually a guide on what some of these things mean as well down here. Um, MCL, MCLG, those kind of things. And I'll go over all this tomorrow when I go in depth into one of the tables. Um, and then usually they'll just talk about um, a little bit of information about drinking water, important health information, so you know where you can go to learn more, find out more. There is a safe drinking water hotline that you can always call if you think there's a concern about your water. Um, they even in here put a little bit about watering schedule and the drought because this was the time that California was going through a drought. And then there was the information at the end about who you can contact, about who the water manager is. So that gives you an idea of what the anatomy of a, a water quality report or a consumer confidence report is. Uh, how, a welcome, where does the water come from, how are they treating the water, um, how are they testing to make sure that the water is safe what might be in the source water, meaning where are they getting the water from, and then the quali water quality tables, which tell you kind of the status of all of this within the water that you are personally getting in your home. Uh, some terms, and then usually a little bit of follow-up, some contact information that you can call and contact and learn, um, and then usually contact them information about your actual water people and who's in charge there just so that you can contact them if there are concerns. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do. These are Don't get overwhelmed by this. And like I said, tomorrow I'll go through this table in depth and give you a little bit more understanding of how this works. But that's the anatomy of a consumer confidence report or water treatment report. Cheers.